Hello viewers, I am Rupesh Tiwari and welcome to Full Stack Master. If you are following along with me in this course, then you might have completed coding for cart store functionalities like add cart item and remove cart item and etc. So this video is continuation to that series. In our previous video, I introduced you with the selector concept in JavaScript and we saw its benefits and we saw a couple of examples of selector function. So if you have not watched those videos, then please pause this video now and watch those previous videos so that you will get the benefit from this video. So in today's lesson, I will write some code. I will demonstrate you how can you write your own selector function to get the total count of the cart items from the cart store that will enable us to create angular component and show them onto the top right corner of our product mart web application. So stay tuned and grab your laptop or desktop to code along with me. I have already created a new feature branch in my github and the feature branch name is showing cart items count therefore if you want to get this video's code then please get it from the git branch and once this coding is done what I will do is I will merge the today's code into my master branch so that you will get all the latest code from the master branch as well. If you want to know how to create github branch then please watch full stack master video on that and I have already explained how to create git branch so and how to commit your source code using VS code everything is explained in that video. Before we begin making sure that you have subscribed to full stack master channel. If you have not done yet then just do that as the sure thing here. Also I appeal to all of my viewers to watch my videos online and do not download or cache it because I deserve more watch time in my videos that is only possible if you watch my videos live online in the internet and I appreciate your help on this. Today you should watch this video till the end and do not miss it because this is very informative and important video for us. So now I will teach you how can you write your first production quality selector function in non-NGRX regular reactive angular application. So it's a good idea to review our overall architecture design to understand the relationship between store, selector and component. So before we start coding, let's go ahead and understand our design. If you notice here, we have cart store, which is the box where you see the design store is written. So whenever you want to show some data in the component, then your data will flow from store to the selector and from selector to the component. So this is one directional data flow that happens. So as you know, in our product mart application, we have a cart state which has cart items in it and we also know that selectors are written on top of a store only. Therefore, let's go ahead and write selector function first. We will write get cart items count selector function. In this function, in order to find out the total cart items count, I need to get the entire cart items from the state and iterate through each item, get their quantity, and keep summing them up and finally I want to return the total count which is a simple job it's not a complex thing so this functions input will be the cart state and then output will be the total items into the cart. So finally we will create cart items count component in our later videos you will see that which will use get cart items count selector function to retrieve the total count and display it into the UI. Therefore Let's go ahead and write get cart items count selector function and we will write the unit test first in order to create this selector function and return the cart items count. So 
this part of the video is a great practical demo for writing test driven development. So we failed our test and then we wrote the production quality code and then the code which is just enough for passing our test and in our feature video I will show you how to refactor your existing test, how to refactor them and then pass your test and keep your code up to date. So I will show you the code refactories and fixing them in our upcoming videos when we, we will write more selectors and we will do some coding and at that time we will be refactoring our existing selectors so stay tuned. So with this you have created your first selector successfully which returns cart items count. So this is really nice. Let me know how many of you could write successfully your first selector and you can write them in your comment box here in this video. I will be happy to see your comments and if you have any difficulties then also feel free to write into the comment box and I will help you. My goal is to improve your skills as a full stack software engineer. Therefore, I need to explain some concepts as I teach the lesson. And therefore, you will develop your skills and get those concepts as you watch my videos from the beginning till the end. Therefore, I will suggest you to do not fast forward or do not skip any portion of this video. So, we finished get cart items count selector, which takes cart store and returns cart items count. As per our architecture diagram, our next step is to create one angular component to show this count. So please be subscribed to this channel and stay tuned. In my next video, I will show you how you can basically use this gate card items count selector and make it reactive using RxJS so that you can use this selector in your angular component where basically you need to subscribe to the selector observable to store the cart items count into some presentation component. So if you have any feedback or if you have any suggestions for me then please feel free to write into the comment box. You can also just say me hi and I will be happy to reading your greetings as well. I request everyone to please subscribe full stack master channel if you have not yet subscribed and also please share these videos these important videos to your friends to your family members and because they deserve these videos if you think and full stack masters goal is also to reach up to 10,000 subscribers to help them to become full stack engineer and without your help it is not possible so I appreciate your help Thank you very much for watching this video till the end and listening to me. I will be see you in my next video. Till then, happy coding and be happy.